All right, shifting our focus now. In fact, it's big news related to India's Gaganyaan mission. The names of prospective astronauts for the mission have been assessed by TOI. Now, the four astronauts are Prashant Nair, Angad Pratap, Ajit Krishnan and Chauhan. They're all either wing commanders or group captains according to Times of India sources. Meanwhile, the names will be officially announced and they will be introduced to the world during Prime Minister's visit to Tiruvananthapuram today. Prime Minister Modi will travel to Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre to Kerala to review the Gaganyaan progress. During his visit, he will also inaugurate three ISRO facilities. Dipali joins me for more. Dipali, very good morning to you. Clearly, this is big news that's coming in. Good news as well. What are we picking up so far? Well, yes, Navedna, good morning to you as well as our viewers. You know, after the historic moon landing, India is now all set to take the crewed mission to space. Gaganyaan is likely to lift off in 2025 and the spacecraft will rather orbit the Earth at a 400 kilometer altitude. This will be a three day mission and this will come after at least uh, two uncrewed test flights, which will be in this year as well as next year. So, if everything goes according to the plan, India will become the fourth nation to launch its own crewed spacecraft. And this will happen after Russia, United States and China have already done that. So what we are learning from Times of India sources is that, that the names of the prospective astronauts have been revealed and their names greatly rightly mentioned are Prashant Nair, Angad Pratap, uh, Ajit Krishnan and uh, Chauhan. And all of them are either wing commanders or group captains. Uh, these four people, they have been training in Bangalore and uh, today they will be present at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in, Center in uh, Trivandrum where uh, they, they'll likely be introduced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And several pilots uh, had enrolled for this, but 12 were selected at the first level. This was in uh, September 2019. This selection was done by Institute of Aerospace Medicine, which comes under the Indian Air Force. And now that IAM as well as ISRO, they have shortlisted four astronauts. So let's wait for that big moment where all eyes uh, will be on those four people when Prime Minister will introduce them uh, at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Absolutely, Dipali. All eyes on that big announcement. I appreciate you joining us with all those details and essentially also telling us what this means for India's space missions as well. We're going to leave it at that for the moment.